Hey everybody. Today I'm going to be installing Cubes OS R4.1.2. This is the latest version that was released, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and install it and take a look at it. Unsupported hardware detected. This hardware lacks features required by Cube OS. Missing features. AMDVI, without these features, QBS will not function normally. It is recommended that only developers and power users proceed with the installation. For more solutions or supported hardware, please refer to. Huh. We're going to continue. So, let's set up our. I don't know why this set up to encrypt my data. I don't need it to encrypt my data. It's done. All right. Time and date. Los Angeles. That's correct. All right. Set up a root password. That's done. Now create a user. Everything's set up correctly, so now let's go ahead and begin installation. As usual, installation is going to take around five minutes. So at this point in the video, I'll go ahead and I'll pause. And when we come back, we should have Cubes OS fully installed. We are back. And installation has completed so let's go ahead and uh, reboot the system and take a look at cubes os r4.1.2 all right seems like uh there's some more installation that needs to be done so templates configuration install it fedora debian Phoenix. I'm not sure what default Fedora. So I guess it's like a multi multi system. Huh. The default. Let's make the default Debian. Just to see what happens. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but let's see what happens. Alright, and it looks like click on finish configuration and we should be it's like a uh, additional uh, installations I guess. So uh, I guess we'll let this install and then we'll be back again. Alright, let's go ahead and log in and take a look at Cubes OS. By the way, I can see that I need to fix the display, so let's go ahead and uh, do that now. Where would I find display? Uh, let's see, let's see, personal. System tools. There it is. Display. Okay. Yeah, right now the mouse is acting real funny. So. Be very specific where I click. A lot of bugs with the mouse on here, so it's pretty weird. But uh, this is cute OS. So now let's see what we got here. We have our panel on the top, and the panel on the top we have our system tray. 
which has a few things on here. We have a session manager, but we can log out or switch users. There's this cube icon that I don't know what it is. I guess it's like a system monitor. And this is like a disc. Yeah, disc monitor. And I'm assuming this is going to be our internet. Our clipboard. Okay. And then we have our mounted drives. Next to that, we have volume rocker. Then we have our time. Check it on that. Opens up a calendar. Right now, it, the mouse is very glitchy. I'm having to move it around a lot just to get to a specific spot so I can click on it. So that's one of the errors I see right here. Then on our uh, applications menu, it's set up weird. It's not like your normal setup. It's a heavy modified XFCE. So, uh, you know, you got tools right here like your uh, cubes backup, create cubes, cubes manager, things like that. Then uh, it looks like it's a lot of penetration testing. Or at least it's looking that way, but I could be wrong. It's just the way it's set up. It's like uh, like if it was a sysadmin uh, system. But I'm noticing that a lot of these are just the same thing over and over. So maybe even that's wrong. Anyways, as you can see here, yeah, it's like a... Uh, it's like just repeating itself over and over. I think I'm starting to get it right. I think it's because of the uh, Debian, Phoenix, and uh, Fedora setup. Because it sets up three systems. So I think basically it's giving you three of everything. But then again, I could be wrong about that too. So, Anyways. This is your uh, menu system. But uh, let's open up a terminal and see how it is. If it uses Debian, Fedora, Unix, I, I still don't even know what Unix is. First of all, let me see what uh, terminal this is. This is the XFC4 terminal 0.8.10. Okay, this mouse again is very, it's acting very weird. So let me see, let's see this. Let me see if the app doesn't work. Sudo to DNF, install. Yep, okay. Errors during download metadata. So it looks like it does use DNF, but there's an error with the uh, with the repository. Oh, well. it was recently released, and it looks like it has a lot of errors. But uh, you know what? Let's see if we can do anything about themes. Let me see the system tool. Let's look for the settings manager. Okay, that's not it. So let's try again. System tools, I guess appearance. So this is our appearance. Now I need to find the file manager. Let's see if I can find that. File manager. Or is it on a donor or not working? Create. 
just create a folder. Just create it. There's a new folder. Open it. Okay. And I believe it's still in our, but let's find out right now. Yep, it is still in our 1.8.16. Cubes OS is making everything difficult, but uh anyways, let's take a look at the appearance. So that's at wider. Add white to dark. Albatross. Arc. Arc dark. Arc darker. Arc darker solid. Arc dark solid. Uh, it's, the naming on here is just Bluebird, Grayberg, Grayberg dark. High contrast. XFCE. Okay, did it just restart? What it's doing right now? I want to guess oh, it's somewhere down here, but let me just put it to uh, add white and dark and just leave it on that. So that's pretty much uh, the theme in. Then we can change the icons. No. And that wider. It's pretty much all that's on here. Then fonts and settings. Let's go ahead and close this and open up another setting to get more uh, theming. The window manager. Okay. Application finder. Now you open. Get assistant tool. Window manager tweaks. Maybe that's it. Yeah. Or no. That's not it. This is going to be one that. Let's go back to window manager. See if anything. There we go. All right. Yeah, we're getting a lot of errors here. So the window manager is basically going to change the, the the border around the window. If I could just get this damn mouse to act right. There, there's quite a few of them here. So it has a lot. I'll just go through some of them. Let's see uh, what they look like. That's default. A dead agua, agua lemon, aperturals, alternate, arc, arc dark, arc darker. Here we go again with the darker, darker, darker. <laughs> All right, you get the point, you get the gist of it. Uh, let me just find one that I'm comfortable with and I can just move on from here because this is turning into an obnoxiously long video and I haven't even done nothing yet. Let's get back to Art Dark and leave it at that. Alright. And that's some theming for you. Uh, did they have a web browser? I'm pretty sure they did, but see the system tools don't see the one there cubes I remember seeing a Firefox ESR there it is okay we got a whole bunch of error messages over here so all right let's try something different work it's in here Let's see if work and here we go with the messages again all right 
I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video now because this Cubes OS is not working. Now it, it, it could be that it's not working because it's in a it's in a virtual machine and that could be the problem. A lot of times uh, things just don't work correctly in a work in a virtual machine. Plus during installation we got the message that told us that you know because we were installing a virtual machine that there was gonna be errors. So uh, obviously they knew it, so that's the way it happens. So let's just go ahead and shut down. And uh, I guess if it's something that uh, piqued your interest and you want to take a look at it, all the info will be down in the video description. And I'm out.